the grade four math practice test for T and ready. Uh, question number 13 on this one. This is a calculator allowed section. That's nice, not useful here, but whatever. An incomplete comparison is shown. 13,426, and then there is a little box there, which I imagine would either include uh, some sort of inequality, so greater than or less than, depending on how you wanted to look at it, or it could be this. But Devin says that 13,426 is greater, and Bill says the other one, which I don't think I said, is 12,389 is greater. Who is correct and why? So this type of question has to deal specifically with scale. If you have an elephant and the elephant weighs 1,002 pounds, and then you have a, some sort of cat that weighs 15 pounds, well, if I look directly at it, so here's how much the elephant weighs, and then the cat weighs like this, the elephant could be like, well, this five is more than the two, so you weigh more than me, cat. Well, obviously that's not true, because this is the number that matters. It's the scale of the entire thing, so we need to look at place value. In order to do a quick comparison, I'm just going to set these up vertically. And again, I'm going to start from the left because that's where the numbers that matter in terms of our overall scale actually happen to be. This is the equivalent, this one of 10,000. 10,000 is going to make a way bigger difference to whether something weighs, uh, is bigger or not than uh, just six. It's just not even close. So if I look at this set, well, they're the same. So it, there's no difference there. But it, immediately once I get to the thousands place, I can see that this three is bigger, which makes this the bigger number. So I may write out that this is bigger than the other. So for my answer, I need to say, uh, I need to answer who is correct also and why. So the correct person that said that this 13,000 is greater is Devin. So Devin is correct. Any of these that says Bill is correct is out. They are out, is out, are out. Sorry, there's two of them. Um, so anything that says Bill is correct is not possible. Now I just need to do the why part. That's the other issue here. Here's the thing about this type of question. On this question, you have two parts to it. And the thing that they love to do, because that's how the state does things, is put in an answer choice where one of the two parts is correct before they put in the one where both parts are correct. So in this case, they put R here and then S. So let's take a look because they love to get you to go, oh, Devin is correct, so I'm just going to circle R because it's the first one that says Devin is correct, right? But that doesn't mean that's the right answer. Devin is correct because the hundreds digit in 13,426 is greater than the hundreds digit in 12,389. Well, here's the hundreds place. Let me change colors here. Here's the hundreds place. And yeah, 4 is greater than 3. That is true. But that is not why 13,429 or 26 is greater than 12,389. If this 3 was a 1, then this number would be bigger. The thing that actually matters is the larger of the place values. This is the point that makes a difference. So R is not correct. Devin is correct because the thousands digit which is the three, it's greater than the thousands digit in here, the 12,000, because the two is smaller than the three. So this is the correct answer. So not only do you have to know that one of them is bigger than the other, you also have to be careful and answer appropriately. If the 10,000s place would have been different, that's what you would have looked at. You have to go from left to right because this is a scale question and not simply a basic visual comparison. So make sure, and you see what they did? They made R, uh, Devin is correct, which is what you expect, and then they made it incorrect because of the second part. S was the correct answer, so B weary of jumping on the first one that has a part that matches and not testing the other parts before you pick your answer because it's really this is not a difficult question but they will catch a lot of people making a careless mistake there um, just because they weren't careful so don't be one of those people be one of the people that does all I mean you have to take the test anyway you might as well get it right so it, once you put the work in get the correct answer